Good afternoon. I'm going to show you how to use the browser Inspect to uh, preview um, changes in the Moodle course. In particular, uh, how to put in uh, an image and float it on the right, previewed, and then uh, actually go into the uh, Atto editor and make the final changes. Okay, so the first thing, we're starting off with a label, and we want to right click in the Moodle page, click inspect, and this will give us, uh, you'll see here image, so we're in the right place, we're in the, the uh, label. And we're going to want to start editing. Edit as HTML. Uh, so what we're going to do is um, put in an image. An image tag. Source equals quote. And I'm getting this image off the uh, uh, internet from a site called uh, Pick Some, Fastly Pick Some Photos. And I'll copy the link. And put it in here. Paste. And uh, something you should do this it, with an image like this uh, it's going to be too large you can see by the they're describing the dimensions here it's really being too large for the page so let's we'll say style equals width colon 100 percent and that means 100 percent of the area available on the page for this particular photo and uh, there's going to be a lot more styling done. I've got to float it to the right, but right now at least it fits. Adorable little doggy. Okay, let's right click again, go back and inspect. And again, we want to edit this as HTML. And I am going to do something you should normally do with an image. If you have an image in the page and you're going to caption it, you use the figure tag to wrap the image. Figure style equals width colon 50%. So it's going to be half the page, and it's going to float right. Float left would float it on the left side. And we want to close the figure tag, start of the figure tag, and then at the other end, We will, let's see, we have the width, we have image, width, source. Looks like we have some junk in here. And first I'm going to close the figure. And notice how intelligent the browser is. It knows you should have a figure in here. And I'm just going to get rid of this trash in here which somehow got in. And figure, and I'm going to put in the uh, fig caption sub tag. Fig caption. Um, again, it's thoughtfully completed it. 
and we'll call this an adorable doggy. And then we will fig. Whoops. And actually, we've ended the fig caption already, and I accidentally put uh, hit the caps lock, so I'll just have to change that. Ah, adorable doggy. And now we will go. And we have the adorable doggy. It should be uh, in bold and centered, I think. So we will go back here, inspect, right click, edit it HTML, and we've got all this stuff. Uh, adorable doggy. Style equals quote text align center and font weight will be bold. And I think font size should be a little above average size colon 1.2 RAM. Style, okay, and we will just close that. And there you've got adorable doggy centered. Now the next thing we want to do is to float some text on the left. So uh, we will inspect. And I have some lorem ipsum text saved up, so that shouldn't be too difficult. I'll go to edit as HTML. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's just put a. What have you got here? Yeah, we'll okay, put a div. In here. And. Control V. Oops, I didn't. Select any lorem ipsum. Which I want to do. got some saved up in a notepad. You can always get this kind of stuff off the internet. Copy. Move that out of the way. Div and div. So we want control V. There, and let's see what happens. There we have it. Now we want to make this topical. So Groundhog Day is coming up. So I think I will do something along those lines. Edit as HTML. Uh, yes, where is, oh, there's the image. We want to say Groundhog Day. Okay. And I think we should change the caption. It actually kind of it's an adorable doggy, but uh, try something else. 
Where's the groundhog? And we want to put in here the name of the photographer, which I got from the link where I, where I found the link to the photo. Uh, copy. And control V. There he is. And we go check it out. And uh, you, this could be improved, of course, but right now I think the first thing to do is to um, make the whole thing permanent. Otherwise, as soon as I update the browser, I'm going to lose it all. So, edit. Uh, no. I want to go back and inspect first. The HTML. As you can see, you want to be a little careful here. Okay, so what we've got is the header, the H2. And we go down here. To, let's see, float, figure, and figure, and end div. This will do the trick. Copy that. Go back. Go into the auto editor. And as you can see here, we have lost it everything, or we would have lost everything if we hadn't saved it. And so we go Control V, and look, what do we get? There it is. So we're ready to go. I'm not going to try to center Groundhog Day because this video is long enough as it is. There you have it. And we'll turn off editing. To see what it looks like to students. There. As you can see, the text wraps and then it gets to the end of the image and it stops wrapping as much. And I will stop this video.